speaking of teams that are looking to bounce back, Saskatchewan and Edmonton. Both teams that didn't make the playoffs a year ago mm. and expected to. Both teams who, you know, if they start 0-1 out the gate, it's going to be confirmation bias in that rabid fan base that, like, come on now, we need to get going. So every, everyone is undefeated, you know, in the off season and in trend camp. And then as soon as that first L hits, you know, then people panic. In, in terms of Edmonton, though, who's hosting, not only are they just trying to get a win, they're trying to get a win at home. They're trying to win a game. They're trying to win a game at They home. have not won a game at home since before the pandemic. 2019, 17 straight home losses. So what they've done is... Tell us what they did. I, this is extremely interesting. So you, you already know where I'm going with this? I, I know exactly where you're going, but let, us, going let the ways. listeners know because this is amazing. They've got a guaranteed win ticket rule for the Elks. So you can go on their website, sign up for the promotion. It essentially is limited. You know, it's not necessarily the best seats in the house, but you know, you can get in the building. Uh, you get a ticket, obviously, to the home opener, June 11th, be there. And it's guaranteed win ticket. So buy a guaranteed win ticket and you'll keep your seat until the Elks deliver a win at home. So you pay once, and then you either are going to receive a win or you're going to receive another ticket. So I think that's really, really fascinating. Shout out to Edmonton, who's done a lot in terms of engaging the community. And you know they've gotten everything right but the product on the field. Mm. But I think this could go a couple ways. One, I mean, if you win, everybody's happy. And you know, you're not giving away free tickets for nothing. But two, if you're losing, you're trying to get a reason for people to be in the building. And maybe they don't pay for the ticket, but they're still paying for drinks and concessions and parking. And so from a business play, they it might works be out. geniuses. But you uh, are a rabid Raptors fan. You go to the games quite often, even when you're not bringing the Grey Cup there. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes people are cheering for pizza more than they're cheering for the game. Like they're trying to get that number where they get a free slice of pizza. And if the Raptors are losing, people are losing it over pizza, it's not a good look. My fear is that imagine if it's close and their fans hoping that they get a free ticket over a win. That would be optically a bad look. I don't think it'll get there because I think people going, especially the home opener or, or actual Elks fans, they're not just going there to, to post on the gram. But I, I love the fact that they're thinking outside the box. These are the types of initiatives that we should be trying dabbling in see how they work i mean you don't want to get to the point where you have so many losses you got to do this That's but right. um you know I, I give them kudos for uh thinking outside the box and, and seeing if this works w w what's your takeaway from it you know what i think i think those guys might be geniuses on the marketing team over there in edmonton db i mean it's almost like a win-win right they win the game good for us they lose the game hey you can come back and so they might be. They're essentially asking the question, "Are you not entertained?" <laughs> and if the answer is no, come back next week. Right. That's, yeah. that's and we'll try saying. again. We'll try again. That's, that's what they're saying. And so you know what? They might be onto something, yeah. and they might be the first team, and they might start a trend. I just need if they lose, as people are leaving, for them to play Biggie one more chance. 